everyone. Hi, my name is Ankita Sharma. I am your master teacher of biology. I welcome you in this amazing class. I hope that you all are super good. In today's class, everyone, we will be discussing two NTSC papers. Five questions from Gujarat state and five questions from Andhra Pradesh. In upcoming weeks, again, everyone, we will be discussing various NTSC question papers of different states and of course with the super short solutions. So let's start our class everyone. Today, we will be discussing Gujarat and Andhra Pradesh, so stay tuned with us. Before that, hit the like button everyone, we really appreciate your likes. Share with your friends and subscribe to our amazing channel. And if you haven't joined the Telegram group yet everyone, come and join the family. Let's start the class everyone now and a very humble request to all of you, please don't leave in between, it's just a matter of 10 questions, 10 questions, it will be done in 10 minutes everyone, stay with us, learn with us. So here is a question number one, now this is from the Andhra Pradesh, the first five questions are from the Andhra Pradesh state. Question is, if you think a chest cavity is like a room. So if we imagine that our chest cavity is like a big room, in this the diaphragm may be. So what is the role of diaphragm? Can you imagine it? We know that diaphragm helps in the movement of the lungs up and down. So basically it's like this. It goes down as when you inhale, it goes down, exhales, comes up, right? So let's see. Can you see over here everyone? See? Diaphragm. So the right option is will be acting as a flow because on this only the lungs will stay and they will move up and down. So the right answer will be option number D. Can you imagine they have given such twisted question? We usually think that of course we will be having a direct one liner from the NCRT but not. Over here we see that you know how they have twisted this very small concept. So this is a really very important thing for your stage 2 also everyone because the question that usually come in stage 1 have a reflection of the question that will be or that might come in your uh, stage number 2. So please stay tuned to it. Now let's see the question number 2 everyone. This hormone now you haven't heard about this maybe. Yes, maybe yes or maybe not. The hormone ghrelin is secreted by walls of the stomach, amazing, walls of the intestine, walls of the esophagus or the salivary glands. What do you think? Please write the answer in the comment section below or in the chat, live chat box so that you know you can, your friends can know and I can also know what you are views about this. The right answer is everyone. See, let's discuss this because this is a, like a foreign question to me also. So let's just have a very quick look over here, everyone. So we basically see, can you see that this is a empty stomach? Okay, so see, it's basically a hunger enzyme, hunger hormone, sorry. Okay, this is like when the stomach is completely, completely empty, when we don't have anything. As the level of this hormone increases, we have more hunger craving. We want to eat more amount of food. See everyone over here. And once the stomach is completely full, it will be releasing this hormone. And of course, our stomach will send the signals to our brain telling us that I am full. I cannot eat much. So very interesting hormone is this one. So the right option is the walls of the stomach. So it will be released by the walls of the stomach and it will be sending a signal to a person whether they are hungry or whether they are not. Let's move to the next question everyone. Hey, oh, the scientific name of the humans is Homo sapiens. In this the word sapiens represents, what do you think everyone? The word Homo represents what? We have studied that kingdom will be the first one to come, phylum, classes, order, family, genus and species. So Homo will be what everyone? Will be the species or genus? Will be the genus. It will be the genus. Okay. And sapiens will be the species. 
So the right answer for this question will be species Homo sapiens. Homo is a genus, right? And sapiens is this specific species name that are we Homo sapiens. Next question, everyone, on your screen. Question number four. In the living cells, the fluid present inside the nucleus is called as what? Such a easy question, everyone. What do you think? I know. I know the answer. The answer is nucleoplasm, right? So we have this nucleus. This hole is a nucleus. Inside we have the nucleolus. And this whole plasma or this whole fluid is basically called as nucleoplasm. So the right answer will be option number A. Clear? Do write in the comment section below how many marks you have carried till now. Like one question, one mark. So we are on question number four. So if you have given all the question number four perfectly correct, so you got four marks till now. Question number five, everyone. Nodes of Ranvi are present or sorry, are absent in. Where well, these nodes are absent? Melanin sheet, okay? Then sensory neurons, non-melanin neurons, or motor neurons. So first is the melaninatal neurons. Over here, if you see everyone properly, you will see that, see this gap. Okay, this gap is basically the rods or the nodes of the Ranvi. Okay, so these nodes are present, but they are not present in the non-melanated exon, right? Basically, this membrane helps in the conduction of the nerve impulse. So, according to this, the right answer will be what, everyone? Answer number C is right. It is the non-melanated neurons. Though those neurons who don't have a complete sheet on themselves will definitely have not the nodes of neuron. Let's move ahead, everyone. Question number six, and this question is from the Gujarat state. So the questions from the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 are from the state Gujarat. Let's see. The lining of the kidney, tubules and ducts of the salivary glands have which epithelium? Directly picked up a line from the NCRT. This is a direct line from the NCRT class. So the right answer is what? The right answer is that the ducts, the ducts of the secretory portion of the small glands, any glands like slavery glands and the kidney tubules have what? They have the cuboidal epithelium. Can you see over here everyone? Okay. And of course, stratified cuboidal epithelium lies in the sweat glands and the slavery glands because they will give the protection to it. So, according to this, the right answer will be what? Cuboidal. So these types of epithelial are found in the kidney tubules as well as in the sweat glands and in the salivary glands. Great everyone. I hope you are enjoying this video. If you are, please hit the like button everyone. Question number 7 now. When you studied basically all about the biology, this is one of the easiest question. And I think this is one of the easiest question that can come up. The question is, who discovered the nucleus in the cell? Very, very easy question, everyone. I will not be spending much time over here. We know the right answer is Robert Brown. Very, very famous scientist. He's known for the discovery of the nucleus. Robert Hooke was the first person to see the cell that to the dead cell. So Robert Brown is the right answer. Purkinje and Levin Hawke are not the one who did that. But yes, Levin Hawke was a scientist who actually saw the first living cell, right? Next question, everyone. Question number eight. Which of these is not a bacterial disease? Now, interesting questions. Anthrax, TB, Dengue and Typhoid. Which of this is not a bacterial disease? Now let's see everyone. We know that Dengue is transferred by the mosquito and of course it has viruses in it. So Anthrax, TB and Typhoid are the bacterial diseases and the other option that we had was a Dengue or the Dengue 
is the one which is not a bacterial disease. It is caused by a mosquito bite and of course it will it can be spread of course with the help of a mosquito. Fever will be there and of course you know it because it's there in various states. A lot of people are suffering from it because we have to give the proper awareness to them. That's why I think this question is there in your examination. The right answer is the dengue. Next question everyone. Which is responsible for increasing in the global temperature? Very easy question. Which of these factors is the important reason for the global warming? And what is global warming? This increase in the earth temperature because of the greenhouse gases which are increasing in number. It is trapping more amount of heat and that causes the increase in the temperature. What do you think? And I think I gave the answer. Never mind, the right answer is the greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, CFS, etc. causes the global warming. The heat over here is getting trapped and it's not moving out. And because of it, temperature is increasing slowly, slowly. The right answer is everyone. Option number C, the greenhouse effect. Last question everyone for today's class. Which hormone regulates metabolism of body growth? This is interesting. Which of these hormones actually helps in the regulation of the growth? Growth hormone, insulin, thyroxine or adrenal? Of course, the thyroid glands basically secretes the thyroxine hormone and of course, the other hormone which is called as the triadothyroxine. Thyroidine that plays an important role in maintaining the regulation of the body everyone. So based on that, thyroxine will be the right answer. If the question would have been about the growth, about the height, so we could have opted for the growth hormone. Insulin is there with the amount of glucose and its metabolism. So it will not be the one which helps in the basically metabolism. The last option over here, we have the adrenal is the fight and flight hormones, the excited hormones. So no, it cannot be the right option. The right option is thyroxine, which actually helps in the met metabolism. Yes, it helps in the regulation of the metabolism. Everyone, we are done with it. And I told you, you will be done with this class very, very quickly. So if you like the video, hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. More than that, everyone, you can download the Vedantu app, which is super amazing. You have all the notification of amazing masterclass that will be happening along with all the notification that you will see. And definitely, everyone, join the Telegram group link. And if you have any inquiries, you can write to me on this particular email address and I will be happy to reply to you. We will be doing various stage paper analysis and of course, paper solution. So stay tuned to this channel, hit the bell icon so you have all the notifications, okay? You will be getting a PDF in which we have a solution. So go through it. I will be seeing you in your next class. Bye-bye everyone.